Hello YouTube and welcome to the cave, aka my office, my gym equipment storage, library and guest room in one. Yesterday I tried to make my first YouTube video and this is how it went. And uh, help. Okay. I tried to find the best background in my apartment, set up the camera, set up the light, I even put on some makeup. Today, let's try and keep it real. My name is Zita and I'm a wedding and boudoir photographer here in Sweden. I am trying to learn some video editing skills in DaVinci Resolve, so I thought Maybe I can go dig through some old video material, because I always had this ambition to film, but I never had any time to edit. And I found this behind the scenes of one of the boudoir shoots, my first boudoir shoot that I decided to do outside. And I thought maybe I can show you how it went. My model for the day was the beautiful Sissa, the true Swedish Viking, as you will see, because I'm wearing a jacket and I'm freezing. And she's only in her underwear and she's just killing it. So please give her a thumbs up. I will link to her Instagram down in the description. I have challenged myself to only do this in one environment, in one outfit and take everything else away. And only rely on trying to make the magic happen by using my camera and the posing. Let's have a look. When you're photographing boudoir, it's always very important to try and make your subject, client, model feel comfortable. Because, you know, imagine standing in front of a stranger in your underwear. So I always try to start by putting somebody in a natural position. I ask them to sit down the way they would feel natural for them. And then I adjust it so that I see the results that I want to see in the camera. From then on, I will try and exploit the situation to the max. I will try to come closer, I will try to go a little further out, I will try to take some detail photos and just make small adjustments. Here I asked Cecil to throw all of her hair to one side to create a little bit more volume and let the wind do a little bit of magic and create some movement in the hair. From there I was trying to explore a couple of different angles, I was walking around her, looking for the best photos, trying to get a little bit far, a little bit closer. If you've seen my photos before you might have noticed that I really like the hair in the face or moving around the face. I use different ways to create this. One of them is, for example, to just turn your head around and try to throw that hair around. Sometimes it creates silly situations, makes the model or makes the clients laugh, which of course is another opportunity to capture something very natural. When we were done taking photographs sitting down, we went on to taking photos standing up. And as you can see, I asked Cecil to follow my instruction. I showed her exactly what I wanted to, her to do with her little sweater move it around so that I could take a couple of pictures of that. And I asked her to repeat it all over again. And as you can see, I keep talking all the time to keep her comfortable. Asking for small adjustments like look down, look up, smile, don't smile, breathe with your mouth and so on. And here's the old hair trick again. I realized maybe standing up is gonna be a little bit easier to move around. And I snapped a couple of shots that apparently both me and Cecil liked very much. If the wind is not blowing in your favor, you can always make your own. This is how we do it. Here I instructed Cecil to get exactly in the position where I wanted to have her in so that I can then run around, look at the best angles, take as many photos as possible of the same pose that are different. 
All that I do is to try and find as many different angles as possible of the same pose. Sissel was holding the hair and I told her to close the eyes. I took a horizontal, I took a vertical, and then I asked her to slowly let the hair go and look at me. I hope this video was a little helpful in how to go around creating some variety when you're limited by props or the environment. The rest of the photos will be linked in the description below. Please let me know if you like this video and what you would like to hear about in the next video. And I hope to see you next time!